How's it going guys? It's Nick at Talk and Review. So this review is going to be on Hiram Green's fragrances. So it's going to be a first impressions. So I personally reached out to Hiram Green myself because I'm very interested in natural fragrances. So we've got a lot of synthetic aftershaves with the designer brands. So I want to go into a bit more of the natural fragrances where I find that they are, yes, they are a bit more expensive, but with the designer ones, I think they're cheaper to manufacture and I think the, the quality isn't as good with your more natural fragrances. So I reached out to here I am and said would I be able to test a few samples from your company for my channel and he was very very kind enough to send me five in the post so what I'm going to show you now is the package that he sent me and a bit more detail around the samples that I'm going to test today so when I received my package what really stood out for me was when I opened up the envelope and there was a nice seal on there and that had Hiram Green's name on it, that was a really nice touch um, to the packaging. When I opened it up, it contained a personal message from Hiram along with his business card and the sample bottles of each of the fragrances. The fragrance samples for me scream quality. You've got the logo on each of them, the name of each of the fragrances, and just the colouring of each of them really, really stood out for me. And the overall packaging for me was very personal, some great touches, and yeah, I really appreciated that from uh, Hiram. Okay, so just a little bit of information about this company. And um, so the company Hiram Green has been about since 2013. Hiram Green creates handcrafted fragrances made exclusively from natural materials. He believes that natural fragrances need not be instantly recognisable as natural or have less intensity or silage than traditional perfumes. His range of fragrances uh, prove this and have been praised by perfume experts and enthusiasts. The range currently consists of five eau de, de parfums that are available in 50ml and 10ml travel um, atomizers. All fragrances are developed and produced in small batches by Hiram in his perfume studio in the Netherlands. So this is slow, slow Dive. Slow Dive is described as a warm tobacco themed fragrance that captures the mood of those languid afternoons when the sweetness of the Indian summer air is almost palpable. The fragrance opens with fresh and flowery top notes of neroli and orange flower before tobacco blossom and beeswax take over. The heart is rich and deep with hints of dried fruit and creamy tuberose. It's delicately anchored by a base of honeyed resins that gives slow dive its soft and exotic touch. Okay, so this sample, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, Arboli Arboli is a warm and woody fragrance that takes its name and spirit from Lorca's eponymous poem. It's basically a, a simple yet subtle complex um, which is described on the website and it's unashamedly romantic fragrance for those who dare to dream. So it opens up with a burst of earthly patchouli that slowly merges with rich cedar wood, 
and velvety sandalwood. Vanilla and tonka bean anchor the fragrance and provide a sweet, powdery base. So this one's called Dilettante. It's inspired by such simple pleasures as a stroll through a luscious garden after a rain shower. Dilettante is an enchanted and light-hearted celebration of summer. So it's based on a triptych of orange flower, petit grain, and essential oil of orange. It's an all-natural fruity and floral eau de, de parfum that is fresh and sweet throughout. So this one's called Moon Bloom. So it's described as a lush, elegant, tuberose-themed eau de, de parfum. So it's a tropical night blooming flower, often referred to as the mistress of the night. So tuberose is an admired theme in perfumery, and that's because of its soft and creamy, but also powerful and narcotic aroma. So Moon Bloom includes generous amounts of tuberose absolute, jasmine absolute, and ylang ylang. There are also notes of coconut, leafy greens, and hints of tropical spices and resins. Okay, so this one is Shangri LA or La. So on the website it's described as almost 100 years after Francois Cotti defined the Cipri genre with the perfume of the same name, Hiram Green presents his adaptation of this classic accord. Named after the fictional land described in James Hilton's novel Lost Horizon, this evokes a mystical, fragrant paradise. So the fragrance opens with a sharp burst of citrus, followed by a rich bouquet of peach, jasmine, rose, iris and spices, all anchored by an earthy base of vetiver and oak moss. Okay, so what I'm going to do I'm going to test out the first one will be Moon Bloom. It's going to be the first one I'm going to try out. So I've not tried these yet at all, so I've saved it for this video. So I can let you guys know my first reaction. Oh. Yeah, it's really nice this one. I think this is more of a, this is definitely more a female fragrance. Yeah, this isn't something I'd find that is masculine or something that I would wear myself. I'm pretty sure this is a female fragrance. Really, really nice. This is something that I would like to have my wife wear really really nice yeah really good one this one okay so I'm not great with notes so I don't know the ins and outs or what's a particular note what does it start with what does it finish with I only know what I see on the website so I apologize if that's what you're looking for and um, but for me this is just my initial reaction to the fragrances so the next one this is one that I've read a lot about this one is slow drive so from what I've read I believe this has more of a honey smell yeah definitely it has that honey vibe to it oh. The thing that you can tell with these are they're really really strong but you know there's quality in there it's not something that as soon as you spray it it absolutely stinks and you're like oh, and you have to wait for the dry down you know these are quality because you can tell that the as soon as you spray it 
you can actually smell it and it smells nice depending on whether you like the fragrance or not but yeah slow drive I'd probably say it wouldn't be something that I would wear on a, a regular basis I'd say this is more for your night time if you want to relax in the summer really really good on this one slow drive Okay, so next one is Shangri LA, or I don't know if it's La. So apologies. Oh. I like this one. I don't know what it is that can smell. It's very... I, I don't know if it is lemon, but it's got more of a, a lemon vibe to it. Yes, this is a good one, but I wouldn't say it's as good as the slow drive. Why do I keep calling sorry? I keep calling it slow drive. It's a slow dive. So I've probably been saying slow drive for the ha the whole of this video. So I apologize. So yeah, this is good, but not as good as slow dive. There's one of them that I'm saving for last. Because um, I've seen uh, a few good reviews on it, and that's uh, Dilettante. So I'm going to be uh, saving that one. So this one is Arboli Arboli. It comes out. Oh, oh this smells like a, a sweet to me. matches the colour I feel this has a sort of licorice vibe for me this is yeah definitely this is something that I could easily wear this is a for me this would be a summer fragrance for me this one could even be like autumn as well again I'm crap with the notes so I apologize but I'd say out of all the ones I've tried so far this one is my favorite so far because I feel that this is something that I could wear as a, a casual sort of thing don't think it would be a signature fra like um, fragrance that I'd wear but it's something that, even though I know these are niche, they're expensive, um, this would be something that, if I was going out, I could spray on, and I know I'm going to smell good. Yeah, really like this one. So, the last one. Dilettante. Let's give it a blast. Mm. It reminds me of something else that I've had before. This one's very soapy, very fresh. It's very, I think it's a very clean smell in this one. Very, very clean. I think the Arboli. Let me try it again. I 
Yeah, the Arboli, the Arboli is my favourite one. Out of all of them. And then I'd say it would then be the slow, di uh, slow dive. I don't know why I'm obsessed with calling it drive. Slow dive would be my second best. I'd probably say a strange one really because I thought from seeing a few reviews and looking at stuff online that the Dilettante would be my favourite but I probably wouldn't say it is, I'd probably say this one would be my least favourite and then the Arboli, the Arboli is my favourite one so yeah overall these are quality natural fragrances um, and you can tell the, the work that's gone into them um, they don't smell synthetic at all um, the colours of each of the fragrances really stand out um, but yeah the, I think what Hiram's done with these is none of them smell similar at all and they've all got their own little um, I don't know blend of like I don't know I think seasonal very seasonal fragrances so there isn't it isn't a whole brand of summer 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 so you've got some that are for me anyway would be for the winter or the autumn you've got your summer ones and um, so yeah that's my first impression so our bowly our bowly would be my favorite from the bunch um, I want to give a big thanks to Hiram who's given me this opportunity to give my first impressions um, of these fragrances and yeah so I hope you've enjoyed the video make sure you give us a subscribe comment down below and give us that thumbs up because it really helps um, our channel grow and if there's anything else that you would like us to see um, reviewing let us know thanks again guys